Shunt clippers are divided into three categories. Number one, clipping above a reference. And number two, clipping below reference. And number three, two level clipping. We'll just see briefly what it means by all these three. And of course, in this video, we're going to discuss only about the above reference shunt clippers. So if you take an input waveform as reference for, let's say, all three operations, let's say that is for one clipping above reference, clipping below reference and two level clipping. Let's say I'm taking a reference. Let me say this is the reference value. That's a reference voltage. Let's say as the name indicates above the reference should be clipped. If we use a clipper here, the output waveform should be like this, where the portion above the reference is clipped. Now coming to the second one, let's say if we have a reference set exactly at the same point, let me assume. And if you send it through the clipper, which is going to do that work, we're going to get a waveform like this. So it clips any value below that reference value. That's why it is called clipping below reference. And now coming to the third one where we have two levels. So if you say that this is one level and this is a second level, which means that clipping will be done above this reference and below this reference. If you take it through that clipper, the output waveform would be like this. So in this video, as we mentioned, we're going to see only shunt clippers that to above reference clippers. We will start with the known circuit that is a resistor and diode connected in shunt to the output. In this case, we have seen the functionality of it that it is going to give us only the negative half of the wave, which means the positive half of the wave is clipped. Let's put some understanding here. When input voltage is greater than zero, let's say the first case, D1 is on, which means it is short circuit. So when it is short circuit, obviously the output voltage V0 will be zero. So hence, during the positive half of the cycle, the output voltage was zero. And coming to the second case where VI is less than zero, where the diode is open circuit, so let me put that here, D1 is off, which is open circuit. When the diode is open circuit, the current flowing through the resistor would be zero. Hence, the output voltage would be nothing but the input voltage. Now we can draw the transfer function for this circuit, where on x-axis we take input voltage, on y-axis we take output voltage. We know when Vi is greater than zero, the output voltage is zero. So this is Vi greater than zero, at which point output voltage is always zero. When Vi is less than zero, output voltage is equal to input voltage. There would be a line here with uh, 225 degrees, where the angle here would be 45 degrees, indicating that output voltage is equal to input voltage in that range. Now here, the reference has been zero. In fact, zero volts. That's why above that zero volts, the voltage is clipped. That's why we got this waveform here as our output voltage or output waveform. Now we're going to change that reference here and that reference we're going to put right below the diode here. Now I'm going to specify the reference voltage explicitly in the circuit and call that above reference clipper that is with the resistor here the current limiting resistor which will make sure that the current is not very high when the diode is forward biased it is limited and i'm going to take a reference voltage here with a voltage source let's say the reference voltage is vr and this is diode one and this is current limiting resistor we're taking the input voltage here output voltage here now the reference doesn't become zero. Now the reference is VR here. Now let's take the first case where VI is greater than VR. So when VI is greater than VR, 
obviously the diode D1 will be forward biased. So D1 is on which means it acts as a short circuit assuming it's an ideal diode for now. When it is short circuit the circuit diagram would be like this where the output voltage is equal to VR. In the first case when VI is greater than VR V0 will be equal to VR. And coming to the second case, when VI is less than VR, obviously the P side of the diode has lesser potential compared to VR. Hence the diode would be off, which means it will be like an open circuit. Now the circuit would look like this. As the diode is open circuit, there won't be any current flowing through. Hence the voltage across the resistor would be zero. Hence, the output voltage would be equal to the input voltage. So, V0 would be equal to VI. Now, based on this, we can draw the transfer characteristics. That is by taking VI on x-axis and V0 on y-axis. Now, let me assume that VR is some positive quantity that I am taking here. So, when VI is above VR, output is equal to VR, which means how much ever is the distance here, we need to have even output also at same distance. Which means when VI is greater than VR, which is this portion, V0 is equal to VR. So this value is VR, hence it will be here. So V0 is equal to VR when VI is greater than VR. Now this is for the first case. Now coming to the second case. When VI is less than VR, which is in fact this portion, in that case V0 is equal to VI, which means it's going to be a 45 degree line all the way like this. Let me take the input waveform and let's say the reference is somewhere here. And if we give this input to the circuit at the output, we would get a waveform like this where above this reference the reference is let's say VR above this reference the waveform is clipped so that's why the circuit is called clipping above reference now by the way let me just mark this here this is for the second case now you can try analyzing what if VR is negative but of course whatever is the voltage obviously anything above that VR is going to get clipped by the circuit. And in the next video, we will see below reference clipping.